And now we're here with Yolanda Celine Walter Mead. She is our philanthropist. And if you don't know about her, well, let me tell you, you're about to find out. It is a wonder woman that we have here from our Baja or our Cali Baja region. We're going to talk about This is About Humanity, which is one of the many organizations that she is has been helping out. Uh, but not only that, the communities that she's helping and so much more. Yolanda, welcome to Baja Winter to the South. Olga, mil gracias. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here with you and to share a little bit with your audience um, some of the many endeavors that we have going on in the Cali Baja region. And we're, I'm really thrilled to be here with you today. Thank you. And I know that, um, you know, we can go on on introducing you and saying about all the work that you have done, especially here in the region with multiple governments and also not only that, but the nonprofit organization. But this is about humanity. It is the organization that you've been spending time with the past couple of years. Will you please tell us a little bit about the work that you guys have done? I'd be delighted to share a little bit more about what we at This Is About Humanity do. Uh, my two co-founders, Elsa Collins and Zoe Winkler, who Brennis, who is uh, the Fonz's the Fonz's daughter, Henry Winkler's daughter. Uh, we started this about humanity about four years ago, initially to um, mitigate the separated, reunified families at the border, and then grew. This is about humanities. A definition of vulnerable communities on both sides of the Calibaja border and found ways to effectively raise awareness, friends, and funds for those most vulnerable here at our border on both sides of the border. Um, and we've done so very successfully. And thank you for that. Um, and, and will you please tell our audience a little bit about uh, the vulnerable communities that you, that you speak about because I know that sometimes when we want to give or we want to be part of something as magnificent as what you are doing and I'm very emotional and I know that we we're talking about this right now uh, but these are not um, just one group that you help you help a large group that we see continuously coming to our region that's right um, I want to when I share and talk about this about humanity, have everyone understand that the magnitude of a problem doesn't mean that we individually and collectively can't come together and collaborate to improve the lives and make tangible differences um, in, in the journeys of individuals, whether they're young children who have been separated, whether they are children who, like every child, deserve the right to learn and play, whether they are families who might be seeking out a better life, whether they're residents of the communities on either side of the border that need support in terms of combating food insecurity or ensuring education or making sure that children and teens in the border region have access to mental health and well-being or so many other thematic needs that exist in the Calibaja region at This Is About Humanity, we have found ways to bring interested stakeholders and donors to give to these causes and to better improve their lives. So currently we support about 40 nonprofits in Tijuana, San Diego, and beyond. And you have done a wonderful, wonderful job. Thank you so much for that. And I know and I heard that you have an upcoming event. Yes, we're very excited. On August 27th, we have an incredible event with This Is About Humanity that brings together close to 14 chefs all the way from New Orleans and Aron Sanchez to Carlos Gaitan in Chicago and David Castro song out of Valle, who I'm sure you've spoken to, and Tijuana's own Rupo Ibarra, and of course, our LA chefs from Tallulah's and Antonia Lofaso, and it's like this incredible roster of chefs and um, 
mixologist from Licoreria Limantur in Mexico City. And it's been incredible to see how the culinary community comes together to support an organization. This is about humanity that in turn gives so much to our region. And so we're incredibly thrilled and I'm sure you'll share the information and we'd love some of our audience members to um, join us uh, for the dinner that's going to be savory. Thank you, and, and the funds that, that um, our audience, you know, and, and, and if you cannot go to the dinner, you can still are going to have uh, the opportunity to find where you can donate and how you can be part of, uh, because this is not the only thing that you do. You not only do dinners, but then you also bring some of the guests if they want to come and join you in some of this uh, to, to visit. That's right. In addition to our annual soiree, we also have quite a few service days where individuals who visit Baja to eat and enjoy or who visit specifically for the purpose of doing good can join us on one of our experiential bus trips to come to the border to identify tangibly what it means and to hear from some of these children and families whose testimonials are some of those most moving and impactful you will ever hear. So we have these service opportunities in Tijuana, in San Diego, and in LA, and we'd love to make them available to the audience to join us at, at, a, at a future point in time. Is there anything that you would like for us to know about this is about humanity? More than anything, this is about humanity gives us each an opportunity to identify ways to give back time talent or treasure to our greater society and make it a better place for all of us to live in. And so I'm incredibly excited to invite you all to join us. And, you know, whether you're a celebrity like Nate Burkus and Jeremiah Brent, or whether you're someone who lives in the region just like you and I, or one of you who, are, who might be listening to us today, we all, we all have the opportunity to do good and make Calibaja an even better region than it already is today. Yes. And yes. thank you, Yolanda Celine, for being here with us.